Cheryl Texira, akit a Freak Show követők elsősorban a Bunny Man Horror film főszereplőjeként és túlélőjeként ismerhetnek, készséggel adott nekünk interjút, amiben a nyúlembe forgatásáról mesél el részleteket, és többek között elmondja azt is, mit tenne, ha egy gyilkos jelmezes őrült venné célba őt és a barátait. Következzen az interjú! Hey, I'm Cheryl Texera, and you are watching Freak Show with Deso and Zolci. <laughs> I think that that's right. <laughs> So, what was my relationship with horror films before Bunny Man? I didn't really have a relationship with horror movies before Bunny Man because I am such a scaredy cat. <laughs> the only, uh, the only uh, basic relationship that I had with one was when I was 10 and a friend of mine tricked me and told me that the movie It, Stephen King's It, was a comedy. So for my 10th birthday, thankfully her mother made us wait to watch it until the morning because we were having a sleepover and we were going to watch it at night and her mother said no you if you're going to watch it it has to be in the morning and I don't think I made it through 10 minutes. I just remember the moment with the laundry where you see it in between the sheets and I ran behind the TV, I plugged my ears and I begged her to shut it off. So that was my relationship before Bunny Man. Since then I have begun writing, and now that I write, I love Stephen King, even though, like, I still can't watch his movies. I'm, uh. <laughs> I I heard about it after I booked the movie. I looked it up. I, I may have even looked it up before I went in and auditioned, but I looked it up. It's really disturbing, so, yep. <laughs> Okay, so my first reaction to reading the script of Bunny Man was I loved Rachel. I thought that she was a badass. And I just, I, I dug that she, you know, she was not going to let, she, she wasn't going to, like, stand down. She was absolutely going to, like, fend for herself. She, she was willing to fight if she needed to fight. I just, I, I really dug that about her. So that, I, I liked about that in the script. <laughs> So my most memorable moment filming Bunny Man was arguably the car chase because it was just this moment on set that, you know, it was it was very scary um, because I feel like a number of people, some of the fans know this story, they didn't have permits because it was like a low budget production to shut the roads down. So as we were filming that big car chase where we're swerving in and out of lanes, another car completely unexpecting us to be doing that came right around the bend and we almost hit it and thankfully John I um, the, the uh, Matt Albrecht who played John really knew how to maneuver the car that we were in so thankfully thank god for him um it was very scary so that is definitely a mo memorable moment <laughs> So, I mean, like, how much, like, like, did I feel for the character? Yeah, I did. Like, that's, that's a terrible situation to be in. Um, there was, I will say this, you know, you mentioned what was my most memorable uh, scene from it. Yes, the car chase absolutely was the most memorable. But the second most memorable moment is um, when the first friend dies and he's underneath the car. I remember filming that. And again, like I was I was a newer film actor. So, you know, I, I'm coming from the stage. I'm reacting the way that I would on stage and probably in real life. And I just remember freaking out that like, you know, my friend was under the car and I just like, I, I was having a full on freak out. And Carl kept saying less, 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 less. And I kept thinking like, I'm doing nothing at that point. Like I'm not actually, showing anything and to him he was like exactly and it just played so much better on film to see me simply drop down slowly and look under the car and build that anticipation as opposed to me freaking out the way that I was freaking out um the way that we originally filmed it so yeah it was it was crazy it was, it was nuts and then also um you know being in the being in the I think it was a wheelchair that was that was nuts and then 
having you know one of like one of the killers like taunt me like that was it was so so disturbing so like even just the cabin itself was a little creepy because he had like all the all the knickknacks that you see in the film <laughs> run I would run I feel like at one point they were like sleeping in the woods I would not be sleeping in the woods um uh, at one point they were hiding behind a rock uh, uh, while listening to their friend get killed nope nope I would just run and and keep running hitchhike get in a car with whoever and hope and pray that they're better than than these people um that that's what I would do um all right, and then some non-Bunny Man questions. If I could be a famous villain um, with all the power and weaknesses, who would I be? Here's the thing, I don't know many famous villains because again, I don't really know horror films, like the genre, I've got mad respect for it. and. I really appreciate anyone who can just casually watch a horror film. I'm not one of those people. I get way too invested and I get incredibly disturbed. Um, but if I was going to pick my powers, I would definitely want mind control. So if there's any villain that you guys know of who has mind control, that is definitely something that I would, I, I'd be into that. What does that say about me, right? <laughs> What's my favorite scary movie? Scary movie. For the sheer fact that, as you already know, I'm not, I, 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 I'm a scaredy cat. So I enjoyed scary movie because it was still scary, but there was levity to it, so I laughed. And what am I most afraid of? Is it rabbits? No, it's not rabbits. But I'm afraid of I'm afraid of a lot of stuff. Like it isn't everyone really? Isn't everyone? And what would you say to your Hungarian fans? I would say, hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for being a fan. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for for even just giving me like the platform and the opportunity to do this. You guys are so rad. I'm Listen, Bunny Man was like shot in 2000, gosh, was it 2008? It was such a long time ago. So the fact that you guys are still fans of it and you guys are into it and I, I actually met some of the fans uh, when I was doing a signing for Hoax, which is another horror film that I just did. I, I think that you guys are awesome. So thank you so much for the support, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Mwah. Ciao.